Hello everyone, my name is Toby DeRima and I've been a professional musician here in the Virgin Islands for the last 27 years. I have been using the Apple iPad and the Ansong app uh, to simplify my live performances, especially when it comes to set lists. Normally musicians and bands use set lists, they type it up on a computer and print it out and according to how many musicians are in the band, they will di distribute the uh, set list and you know, tape them on the ground or under a drum riser or wherever it is the musicians are located on the stage so the musicians can know what song comes first, what song comes next and so on and so forth. However, I've been using the iPad and the Ansong app to simplify this and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. Okay, so here is one of the iPads that I use and I have one of the songs um, in the set list up on the screen of the iPad. What I actually did is I created uh, I went into Microsoft Word and created PDF files of each of the names of the songs, basically. Um, I, all I did was just increase the font so we could take up the whole screen and created a PDF file. And what I did is I created a set list um, in, in the Unsung app, app with each of the names of each song. So as I go to each song, um, as I say, this is how it, how it goes. So I know exactly which song I'm playing first and which song I'm playing next. So what I've been doing with this is I use the on cue um, option on the app. And what I do is I have um, this one iPad control other iPads on the stage. Now, right now, as you can see, um, there are three iPads here and I'm actually controlling the iPad mini right now. Now, I, I play drums, so of course I can't be, you know, touching the iPad too much because especially while I'm playing, I'm actually, uh, my hands are busy with drumsticks. So I'm using the, the, this, this pedal, uh, Bluetooth BT-105 pedal, um, to advance the songs as to which song we're playing first and which song we're playing next. And, um, I use the on cue feature of the Unsung app. So when I advance the song on the iPad mini, it automatically um, shows on the other two iPads. Now I have the iPads in different places on the stage so that everybody, all the musicians can see the iPads. So when we come to an end of a song, I bring up the next song and they immediately know exactly what song is coming up next. So there isn't a worry about looking down on a piece of paper or anything like that. Um, I have the iPads. I use, um, there's a clip that I use for the iPads that actually um, it connects to a, a, mic, a microphone stand. So the iPads are actually at eye level of all the musicians. So. Um, when it's time to go to the next song, the musicians all know what time it is. They know exactly. And this helps especially, there's a part of, the, um, of our performance with this particular group where we play and we go from song to song to song. And I don't have to worry about telling the musicians what song comes next. I can actually arbitrarily go through the list um, and pick up a song. So I can come over here, say for instance, and I can um, pick up a song and uh, let's see if I can choose. I can choose this song, say for instance, and of course all the other musicians will see it. And while we're playing, we don't stop. We will just keep playing and I will hit my switch and it um, jumps over to the other song. I can go back if I need to. But everybody sees what song is coming up next, and I don't have to stop and whisper to anybody. Everybody sees it. I count it off, or I do a fill, and everybody comes in because everybody knows um, what song is coming up next. Pretty simple.